okay, I am live. Just gonna wait a little bit for some people to come in. If there's anybody who will be here with me tonight. I'm a little bit late today. I made it nine o'clock instead of eight because um, I had a lot of things to do. <laughs> so anyway, I'm waiting for whoever's gonna be here tonight. Hi there, A flux or A flux? I'm guessing A flux. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to my live stream. A flux, yeah. <laughs> so how are you tonight? And where are you from, if I may ask? There's a little bit of a delay, I think. But anyway, I was live streaming earlier and I was glad that my phone did not get too hot and did not automatically shut me off. Uh, you're from the United States. <laughs> it's a big country. <laughs> I'm from Florida, Jacksonville, Florida. And anyway, um, so I was saying earlier, I went to Home Depot, stopped by there before going home from school. It was early release today, so I'm really, I was really happy about that because I was able to get out of school around 12.45 p.m. Hawking Red, hi Mrs. Peace, Hawking Red, how are you doing tonight? I'm okay. <laughs> I was not able to do all the things that I wanted to do today because I, I was feeling sleepy again because I had to wake up early this morning, but... Other than that, I'm good. So thanks for asking. How are you, Hawking Red? How was your day? Anyway, um, I'm waiting if my moderator will be here, but if not, that's okay because I don't think there's going to be a lot of uh, participants for t tonight. I am just uh, continuing with my live stream because um, this will come out later as a video, which uh, my subscribers could watch later, uh, later at their convenience, you know, whenever they are, uh, whenever they have the time to, to watch it. Anyway, again, um, welcome to this segment, straight from the students, substitute stories number 22. From Hawking Red, I had a day off and it was a productive day. Productive day. That's good. That's good. It's always good to have a productive day instead of just sitting on the couch or watching movies the whole day. You know, get those muscles moving, get some exercise. So that's good. Okay. So anyway, before I start my <clears throat> my um, regular stories or things that I wanted to share in this live stream, I would like to announce that earlier today, one of the things that I was doing was finishing this new segment for my channel and Johnny D's channel, which I will call uh, Shout Outs from Johnny D and Mrs. D. So it's going to be a shout out to all our subscribers and followers because I have been um, reading a lot of comments in Johnny D's channel, and there's a lot of subscribers who wants uh, who wanted a shout out, and I know Johnny D would not be able to do that, so uh, I decided that I will just do the um, the um, shout outs for both his subscribers and my subscribers, and I have a lot also from from my uh, students. So I actually have about. Let me see. <laughs> this whole page, I have maybe 20, over 20 um, YouTube channels and Insta Instagram uh, that uh, some people 
would want to have a shout out for, and these are both for Johnny D and my subscribers. So if you wanna, uh, if you want a shout out from me or Johnny D, just let me know, leave a message on his channel or my channel, and we will do a shout out for you. I'm almost done. I will publish this by tomorrow evening because I promised my students the last time I was there and, I'll, and I'm gonna be there on Friday, I'm gonna be seeing them again on Friday and I don't want to disappoint them and I don't want anybody coming to me and say, hey, Mrs. D, I didn't see the shout out, you promised me. So I will make sure that by Thursday night, uh, the shout out uh, video has been posted, published, so that my students and all the other um, subscribers are going to be able to see it. So anyway, um, today I had a good day uh, in the classroom where I subbed. It was a high school class, high school math actually, and um, there's not a lot of students. Um, I mean, uh, the regular 25 to 30, something like that. Hello there, Enfra. I just saw Enfra come in. Thank you for being here and welcome to this segment. So anyway, as I was saying, I was in a high school math and not too many students, but um, somehow I felt like in the last class I was, I was like in a middle school classroom because they were all very sociable very talkative you know and i just felt i was like in a middle middle school but anyway i'm not gonna um talk more about that because i haven't uh, i haven't live streamed for the past few days that i've been subbing so i have here with me the last two days last week that i wanted to share with you uh, from a flux math is my favorite subject we do have the same favorite subject. It's also my favorite subject, a flux. So anyway, um, <clears throat> last week, I'm sorry. Last week, I was also in a high school, but this is uh, close to our house. And I had, for the first period, I had 27 out of 37. So 10 absent, and that is good for me <laughs> because the less, the better. So 27 out of 37, and the class was attentive, quiet, and respectful. All they had to do was um, copy one page back to back. That's all they needed to do for the whole uh, period. So I knew that they would be finished um, before the class period is over. So I allowed cell phone use after they turned in their paper, but I checked their papers, make sure that they really did their work. They were not in a hurry to, to finish the work. So um, after they turned it in and I'm satisfied with their work, I allowed them the use of cell phone. And I always say it's just to yourself. It cannot be shared. You can't be uh, taking videos or recording. It's just to yourself to listen, to browse, and for you to be quiet. So I allowed that. <laughs> From Hawking Red, Mrs. D, what level of math were you teaching today? It was high school uh, juniors, high school juniors that I uh, taught today. But this one that I'm sharing was also high school from last week. So anyway, um, there was one student that I had to tell to put away the cell phone three times. Every time I tell her, she would just put it away, and then when I turn my back, She's there again using the cell phone, and I'll tell her again to put it away, and then when I turn my back, and it's the same thing, <laughs> uh, I think not just three times, maybe four times. A anyway, um, there was also another student who just slept the entire class period, which for me is good because, you know, one less student and one, one quiet student, but then he wouldn't be able to accomplish anything. So any, um, every time there is a student who is uh, sleeping, I will just go uh, near the student and knock on the desk or on the table to wake him up very slowly. So just to re remind him that, you know, this is not the time or the place to sleep and he has to do his work. So anyway, um, there was also one student, you know, when, when, when I told her to start doing his work, she said, 
You know that I already did it twice, right? She was asking me. She was staring at me. You know that I already I already did this twice, right? And I just looked at her and I'm like, I'm thinking, why would I know? I just stopped here, just came today. So I just looked at her and then when I turned my back, she started sleeping and slept the entire class period. I know that she wouldn't be doing her work. By that kind of attitude and that statement, I already know she wouldn't. So she slept. I just let her. <laughs> uh, a block sounds like my school. <laughs> yeah, typical, typical classroom. Anyway, on my second period, I had 32 out of 37 students in the class role. So five were absent. That's good for me, not for the students. And it was a talkative class. There was one particular table, you know, that was really out of control and uh, was talking too much and was loud. And I kept reminding them to be at level one, which is a whisper to do their work, you know, and, but, but, but I was just being ignored. So if I know that I will just be ignored and, you know, they have no intention of doing their work, I just, I just uh, ignore them and I just keep on reminding them to be quiet. Anyway, there was also about two or three students that are told to put away their cell phones. I don't know why these students they know very well that they could not use cell phones, but they think that when there's a substitute teacher, then they could use their cell phones. But I write reports to the uh, teacher and let them know who is using a cell phone. So anyway, I, also for this class, I told them, I, I didn't tell the whole class, because there was one class who was really um, uh, very talkative and not paying attention, not doing their work. So when I go to a student and when they're finished, I check their work, I would secretly ask, do you have a cell phone? You, uh, you, know, you may use your cell phone to yourself just uh, for you to be quiet so that the rest can finish their work. So I allowed cell phone use, but I did not tell the, the entire class. Um, Freddie Mayo, hey, how are you? Or Freddie Mayo, you just woke up. Good morning. Elte, hi there. Mrs. B, have you ever gone to Paxson, Stanton, or Walkson? I have been to Stanton and Walkson. <laughs> From B. Fleris, uh, Despacito, uh, A. Flux, hey, they take advantage of substitutes. Yeah, I know that very well. They take advantage of substitutes. That's why when they know they have a sub, they're, they're like, Exulting, they are, uh, you know, in, in jubilation. They're happy. They're in cloud nine, but not in my class because I am very strict and uh, I make sure that they're doing their work. If not, you know, I just report them to their teachers. Hi there, Mark. Uh, Mark is here. Welcome. So anyway, um, most of the students were focused on this uh, on, on their class activity for this second period but like i said some were very sociable and they started becoming really loud the last 15 minutes of the class period so i had to blow my whistle and i told them you know i really don't want to blow my whistle but you're acting like you're uh, middle schoolers or in the elementary i you know this is a high school classroom and you're not acting your age, so I had to blow my whistle to remind them to be quiet because they were getting too loud. Anyway, the third period I had, <clears throat> oh, I had 24 out of 26 students. Do you kick people out? Yes, I do. If I need to, yes, Freddie, I would call security and uh, kick them out of my classroom for disruptive or disrespectful behavior. So for my third period, I have 24 out of 26, and one left uh, to go to the nurse's clinic because she she said she wasn't feeling well and she never came back. So that's minus one student, good for me. And there was also another one who left, and uh, I think it was for testing. So again, minus one. So that's 22 total out of 26, and. There was also a late student from the cafeteria. So um, when we came, when, when the students came back from the cafeteria, one was really late, and I didn't allow him to 
to get inside the classroom with, without a, a pass from the main office because it was like 20, 25 minutes late. So anyway, when they came back, I made them uh, do the unscramble words. And they were like, did you do this, Mrs. V? Is this your own? And I said, no, that's from your teacher. So <laughs> I never tell them that it's mine because, when, you know, when they know it's from the substitute, they're not going to be doing it. So my purpose is for them to be finished because they were finished early. So I did the unscramble and they participated, which is good. <laughs> anyway, the other um, high school that I went to last week, I also had a, a, a good day. Uh, not awesome, not very good, but still, it was okay. It, it, it wasn't um, uh, like those uh, middle school classrooms that I usually go to. It's, you know, there's a lot of people and um, a lot of students and mostly are uh, talking too loud. So this one, since it's high school, so um, just so-so. <laughs> anyway, for my first period, I had 22 out of 29 students. So that's a little uh, uh, smaller class, and they were mostly quiet. And there was one student, a boy, who came with a bunch of flowers. You know those flowers uh, that, that guys would give to, to their girlfriends, you know. So um, when he came in, all eyes were on him. Everybody was looking because he has this bunch of flowers and one lady one student couldn't stand it and asked uh who are those flowers for and and uh, the boy said it's for my girlfriend and she said oh how nice uh, what's the occasion what's the occasion is it her birthday and and the boy said no no nothing there's no occasion and she was like oh that's so sweet i want to be a girlfriend <laughs> So anyway, I was just listening to you. I was just listening to them and, and uh, I was just looking at the guy. He was he was dressed nice and with his flowers, you know. I think it, it, it was so sweet of him. <laughs> For a while he was the center of attention uh, uh, of the whole class. So anyway, um, <clears throat> there was one student who came when it's almost time to go home or, or to or for the next uh, class, because it was just first period. So when he came, it was like 10 minutes before dismissal time. So I, it was an, an excused uh, absence. I think he was one of those that the students were pointing out to me outside the classroom that he was skipping class. So I wrote down a report for him so that the teacher will know. Um, for this class, um, it was, uh, the teacher left a, um, a short lesson plan. It was like a 10 minute activity for a 90 minute period. Because I have three classes, uh, all 90 minutes for each class. But the, but the activity is just like 10 minutes. Usually the teachers would leave something like this. I really like those teachers who would, um, give uh, a lot of work to the students so that they will be busy the entire class period. Jordan and Jada, hi there, how are you? <laughs> I, I'm okay. Um, my day was good, thanks for asking, and I hope yours is also. And I think I'll see you on Friday. I was just announcing earlier that I finished uh, I'm almost finished doing the shout outs because I wanted it to be finished by Thursday night so that when I meet my students on Friday that I promised I will do a shout out for, they're going to be ready. So I was just announcing that earlier. Uh, TK, hi there. Um, nope, you're not late. That's okay. <laughs> it's okay. We're never late here. We don't have a time. You can just pop in anytime and I appreciate you being here. So anyway, um, where was I? Um, okay, again, there were three students who were using their cell phone, and one left the restroom for like 15 minutes. I always have a time for when, when the student would leave the classroom for restroom break, and then when they come back. I, I have a, a, a log of who goes out and comes back. Uh, you know, I have this time. so. I can show the teacher how long they are in the 
or how long they were in the restroom, if they were abusing their re restroom break, or you know, if they were <clears throat> going someplace else. So, <laughs> anyway, since it was a 10 minute, just about 10 minute lesson or, or activity for the students, so I had to prolong uh, my introduction. I was telling them about myself. Because, you know, if you have only 10 minutes uh, of work for a 90-minute class period, that's, that's hard because the students will be bored. They don't have anything to do. So I just told them about myself, you know, that I studied associate's degree, bachelor's, master's, and then I'm, uh, I was doing my PhD in education. I told them that I have three... Um, biological kids, all uh, two are Navy civilians, one is uh, serving in the U.S. Navy, that I have two biological, uh, I mean two adopted kids, and I kept on going and going until I was running out of <laughs> what to say. I told them about my YouTube channels and they were excited about it, they were surprised how uh, I had like 175,000 subscribers with my husband, they were asking, so, you know, the conversation went on and I was glad they were asking because I was trying to prolong so that, um, you know, it will take up some time and they wouldn't be bored when they are done with their work. Okay, uh, Jordan and Jada, it's so fun watching your son play Fortnite. Is he ready for season six? Yes, I think so. He's, he's excited for season six. And I understand it's coming out this week or pretty soon. I think I overheard them when they were playing. <laughs> so anyway, my second period, I had 30 out of 30 students. Everybody was present. <laughs> so um, uh, even if I have 30 out of 30 students, they were very attentive and they were respectful they were listening closely to my instructions i also uh, they were also excited when i told them about my youtube channel <laughs> anyway it was so quiet every everybody was paying attention it was so nice until this one boy started singing the abc song it was like a b c d e f g h i j and I looked at him and I was like, I thought I was in a high school class. <laughs> I'm not in a kindergarten uh, classroom. How come I'm, 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 I'm hearing a, uh, an ABC song? <laughs> so he was trying to get the attention, you know, from everybody else because they were all quiet and listening to me. And I don't know why this boy would just suddenly sing the ABC song. He just... <laughs> Out of the blue, he just started singing the ABC song. He just interrupted me. <laughs> anyway, other than that, they were all focused on their work. And since they're focused and I know that they won't have a lot of things to do after that, I also gave them the incentive to use their so cell phones to themselves one day, once they are finished. Whenever I allow cell phone use, I would tell them, this is just for yourself. It is not to be shared. And the only purpose I'm letting you use this is that so that you will be quiet and the rest can finish their work. So that's what I always tell them. Have a good excuse for cell phone use. Anyway, there was also one student who came from testing. And of course, because he's exhausted taking the test. So when he came, he didn't want to do his work. And... You know, I didn't force him. I know it's exhausting to have a, um, a test. He was there for about an hour. So when he came, came to the classroom, uh, I think half an hour is left. And he looked exhausted. So I just let him be. <laughs> anyway, um, there was also one student who slept the entire class period. Oh, of course, there's always somebody who's going to be sleeping. <laughs> and uh, one student, when I asked, uh, when I asked her to put away her cell phone, she was like, what cell phone? What cell phone? Uh, what do you mean? What do you mean? Am I seeing things? Am I seeing things? And so I looked at her and said, I wasn't born yesterday, okay? Put away your cell phone. Because she was hiding it um, 
she was hiding it on her uh, not backpack. Uh, it's it's a, a lady's bag. And I know when, when there's a lady's bag on top of the table or the desk, I know what's going on. So I said, put it away. And when she said, am I seeing things? What, what do you mean? What do you mean? So I just said, I wasn't born yesterday. Put it away. And then so she put it away. <laughs> uh, Freddy, what can we call you? You mean me? I'm Mrs. T. That's how you can call me or how you can address me. Mrs. D is fine. I always tell my students I'm Mrs. Denardis, but you can call me Mrs. D because that is what I'm well known for in the internet world or the cyberspace. And then I start to tell them about my YouTube channel, little promotion. <laughs> anyway, the last period, my last period, I had uh, 32 out of 38 students, still a lot. 32 out of 38. So there was one student that was really loud and seemed to not care about any instructions that I would tell him. You know, I, I approached him and told him to be quiet and he was just wandering around. He's like, he wanted me to follow him around, but I'm not going to do that. So I just ignored him and just wrote a note to the teacher. Again, there's a lot of students who were using cell phones. And uh, one particular lady, she was tall, big lady. When I told her to put away her cell phone two times, the second time she said, she even called me girl. She said, girl, I'm grown. What are you going to do? <laughs> so uh, when she said that, I looked at her and I said, oh, what am I going to do? I'm going to write to your teacher and tell her that you're grown. But you're acting like a child. So the, the class started laughing and I was just telling, telling her, you know, she's, she's saying that I'm, I'm, I'm a grown up. She's like, don't bother me or don't, don't tell me what to do. She's in a classroom. We have rules. We have policies. So I told her, yeah, what am I going to do? I'm going to write to your teacher and tell her that you're, you're a grown woman. You're grown. But you're acting like a child. So... <laughs> Anyway, uh, other than that, the entire class was okay. There were a lot of people who were not doing their work, but I never um, forced them to do their work. I, I always tell them, it's your grade, it's not mine. You don't want to do your work, I'm not going to force you, but I will write a note to your teacher that you didn't do your work today. And I know there's some students who would, you know, when the teacher comes back, they would say, oh, I turned it into the substitute teacher. And then if the teacher says there's nothing here, oh, maybe she lost it. Maybe she, it got misplaced. So when, when I leave a note to the teacher, I write the specific names of those who did not turn in their paper. I, I know who, turns, who turned in their paper. I, I, have, I always have a sitting chart. I write notes. I check uh, the names of those who turned in their paper or not. So I do a lot of things. I was telling them, you're busy with your work. I'm also busy with mine. So while you're doing your, your work, I'm doing mine. I am writing a report to your teacher, and that's what I do. So <laughs> anyway, um, from Jordan and Jada, I would never do that at school. Yes, Jordan, you know what? Your school, you're lucky because you belong to a very, very nice district compared to this school where I usually sub because I, I sub into districts. And Jordan, I would say you're so lucky to be in that nice school district. It is like 10 times better than where I usually sub. So thank you for that. Um, why is Jordan and Jada saying that's rude? Let me go back. Um, how long have you been teaching? Uh, Freddie, I have been subbing for over three years now, I think. I do have a uh, license to teach in Illinois and, a, and another license to teach in Florida, but I haven't really actually started teaching because I don't have uh, the time to do it right now. I, I, I'm, I'm so busy and I have two kids that I need to take care of so maybe next school year just maybe i might start teaching i have a license to teach from k to ninth grade um 
From Hawking Red, Mrs. D, we are all looking forward to your live streaming during the, your trip to the Philippines. Can you tell us more about your upcoming trip after you finish talking about your day of subbing? Yes, Hawking Red, thanks for reminding me that. Um, actually, I will be going to the Philippines uh, from November 2nd to November 12th. But I will stop by Chicago first and uh, meet some of my friends there. And um, that is where I'm going to hold the uh, Johnny D outreach in Manila. I will have uh, at least two videos that I will record and publish here on my channel and in Johnny D's channel to let you know more about it. I'm excited about my trip to the Philippines and I will live stream my. Um, uh, most of my uh, activities there, you know, from the day I leave Jacksonville to when I get to Chicago, when I take the plane, when I get off, when I'm with my mom and my, my brothers and sisters, when I go here and there, I wanted to share that with you. So I hope that you will uh, look forward to it and watch those videos. So 44, Liam, you're late. Nope. Like I said earlier, nobody's late here. You just pop in anytime. That's fine. And I really appreciate your, your presence. Uh, you're keeping me company uh, even at this hour of the night. <laughs> um, from Jordan and Jada, when I lived in Jacksonville, I went to a middle school and it was bad, but my mom and dad moved to Clay. What I meant by rude was that kids were talking. Uh, oh, okay. So you were talking about uh, the, the students that I was telling you. So, yeah, I have a lot of rude students. And Jordan, like I said, you're lucky that uh, you moved from Jacksonville to, I know, I think you're in Orange Park. And uh Enjoy your days in Clay County because that's a very nice district. You're very lucky to be there. From Freddie Mayo or Mayo, Johnny D did a good song yesterday. Yeah, Johnny D has been singing every day. When I post uh, videos on my channel, it's they are old recordings of Johnny D way back in, you know, maybe five, six, seven years ago that I still have on my computer. Uh, those are old recordings when uh, before his his channel was hacked and deleted by somebody. So my postings of Johnny D's songs on my channel are old songs, and he posts new songs on his channel. But later on, when I get monetized, I'm gonna get those songs and put them also on my channel, and I will be doing more songs. Once I get monetized, I'm gonna start singing again. Even if I don't have a good uh, good voice, I will try to please you with my songs. Hopefully, I can also get my uh, daughter to sing because she knows all these new songs, you know. Anyway, um, from 44 Liam, my parents said I will get a new Chromebook. Wow, my current one I got for free from Capital One. It's really bad. Congratulations. I'm, I'm happy for you, 44 Liam. I think it's about time for parents to update, update their uh, uh, children's technology because it keeps on updating all the time. So, yay, good for you. <laughs> 44 Liam, you have a daughter? Yes, yes, I have a daughter. She's, uh, uh, how old is she? She's 32 years old. Yep, 32. And she has three kids. And she was the one who was singing the Havana on my uh, live stream earlier this afternoon. So for now, I'm just going to be playing those songs that I sang and her songs so that um, I wouldn't get a copyright strike when I play songs during my On the Road with Mrs. D. <laughs> 44 Liam, uh, I'm like, you're, you never mentioned her. Oh, I did. I, I mentioned her a lot, uh, especially when, when she would sing uh, in my channel. She has three videos on my channel. She sang Havana. She sang a Justin Bieber song. And she also sang um, another one with, with the one with the most views, I think. 
and those songs that I published in my channel, I also publish on, on Johnny B's channel. So my videos goes to his channel, his videos goes to mine. So, you know, that's what I do so that in case Johnny B's uh, channel gets deleted again or hacked or mine gets hacked or deleted, then there's a backup because when Johnny B's channel was hacked and deleted, all his eight and a half years of work, 1,044 videos were deleted in a split second. It was all gone. All gone. And, and that was mentioned by PewDiePie on, on his Pew News. And that's why when, when Johnny D started a, a, a new channel last January, the, the subscribers went up. It skyrocketed. And right now we have about 178,000 subscribers. So... Uh, from A plus, I didn't know she did morning streams. Oops, I wake up at like 6:55 a.m. and the bus comes at 7 a.m. Yes, I do live streams every day, so I make it a point that I I have at least 15 to 20, 25 minutes of live streaming every day, so that I can keep you updated on what I'm doing. I hope you're interested. I hope you're liking my live streams in the morning, and it's also a way to reach out to those who are on a different time zone that can't be that are not available at night like tonight 8 or 9 p.m. So anyway, um, Hawking Red loved your singing this morning on your on the road with Mrs. B live stream. Thank you, Hawking Red. <laughs> I was actually feeling a bit embarrassed myself and I was listening to it, especially the uh, a thousand re a thousand years by Katy Perry, I think, uh, yep, a thousand years, because at that time I was just learning the song and it was really difficult for me because it's not available on my regular karaoke machine and there is no pitch control. You know, I would love to sing a song that is uh, on the right pitch for me, but that one I could not control the pitch, so I was just really trying hard. So anyway, I was doing this for you, so I hope uh, I hope you like it. Thanks, Hawking Red. From Jordan and Jada, so you don't know who hacked him? No, we never found out who hacked him. It was just, um, I think, December, before Christmas, when uh, PewDiePie noticed Johnny D's channel, and he mentioned about it on his, uh, on his channel, PewDiePie created a 15 or 20 minute video about Johnny D. And after that, the subscribers skyrocketed. But then in a matter of week or two, somebody hacked Johnny D's channel and deleted the entire channel. So eight and a half years of work. 1,044 songs deleted in a split second. You know how when you delete a, a, um, a channel on YouTube, you just click delete and it will ask you, are you sure you want to delete this permanently? So it's just in a split second, all of those were gone. And I know how devastated my husband was. Um, I was actually amazed how Johnny D. Uh, was able to cope uh, to cope up with that um, experience because it was you know if, if if that happened to me that would be so devastating you know all my work eight and a half years of work all gone I, I would have quit you know I'm thinking you know what forget it I'm not gonna do it again but Johnny Lee kept on and 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 he released a video saying how he felt so bad about it but it's not gonna stop him. So, and then he started singing again, and in January 14th, he started another YouTube. He, he created a new one after his uh, old one was deleted. He created a new one, and his very first song that he published was Everyday Bro. I think it's Everyday Bro, yeah? And it had, right now, it has over half a million views. So, I think it paid off, you know, his patience and um, everything paid off. So right now, he's got all these subscribers. So well, let me go back here. Jordan and Jada, it's so crazy how people hack without information. Actually, um, 
It was his fault because he was very trusting. He gave away his password to his email. He gave away his password to YouTube. He gave away his password and code that was sent to his cell phone. You know how when somebody or, or a company would, would verify if it's really you, they would uh, send a code to your cell phone? He even gave that to these hackers. He gave the code that was sent to his cell phone. He was just very trusting. So anyway, <laughs> um, from King Braden 25. Hi there. Uh, welcome. I just saw you come in. Thank you for being here. Where's Johnny D? I think Johnny D, if he slept in his room, I think he may have left. I Maybe I didn't notice it. But usually at this time, he is in the karaoke bar. <laughs> anyway, uh, from TK Lauren, did the old channel have more subs? The old channel, when he started it, he only had about 8,000 subscribers. But after PewDiePie featured him on this YouTube Rewind, it went up to like 10, 15,000. And then when he um, did this YouTube Rewind, it went up like over 100,000. And then by December, it was hacked. It was deleted. <laughs> so I have videos of, of what happened. I have videos, old videos. If you would scroll down on the list of my videos, I have those, a compilation of what happened, you know, and all, all those things. So you can go back to my old videos and you will see all of them. Uh, okay, so anyway, um, I am. <laughs> it's already 41 minutes, and so I would have to end this because I need to wake up at 4.45 in the morning tomorrow. I'm going to the same school uh, where I went today, and I almost got lost, and uh, I, I, I was worried that I wouldn't be there on time. So I'm going to leave 20 minutes earlier tomorrow. So for now, I would like to say... Good night to everybody and thank you for keeping me company and I hope to see you tomorrow morning on my On the Road with Mrs. D live streaming. So, um, let me see, uh, Jordan and Jada, Aflax, Freddie Mayo, TK, uh, King Braden, well, Snoriaga, hello there, I'm, I'm going to leave right now, Hawking Red. Uh, Freddie Maya mentioned 44 Liam, uh, Little Boy. I'm not sure if you're still here, but anyway, TK, Mark, to all of you, Enfra, Aflux, everybody. <laughs> um, thank you again and hope you have a good night. Sweet dreams, everybody. Love you all. Thanks. Bye bye. Later. Later, later.